Eight is full of history, so remembering all of it can be difficult. And today we're taking a trip to a 128 year old house on Angel Street in Providence that you may often pass yet know nothing about. Check it out. Welcome to Hamilton House. I'm so glad to have you here. This is a French Chateau style house that was built in 1896 for a steel magnet, Mr. Carpenter. He lived here with his wife and nine children for a short period of time and then sold it to a Mr. Champlin, well-known foundation here, the Champlin Foundation. And he lived here uh, for a short period of time but gave the house to his daughter on her wedding. After his daughter passed, the house was taken on by the Center Congregational Church next door. And it was Reverend Gibson who decided this should be a lifetime learning and socialization place for adults. And that began the first, one of the first senior centers in Rhode Island. This room here is called the mirror room. Uh, as you can see, there's a huge mirror up there and uh, the room across the way is the library. Behind us is the mural room, and next to that is the oak room, which was the original dining room. And uh, we use this for classes, for gatherings, for events, and the long hallway here is used for exhibiting our members' paintings and artwork. The Hamilton House mission is to provide stimulating interaction with ideas in an adult learning exchange. Now that sounds kind of stuffy, but the way that we do it is an awful lot of fun with a lot of different activities. And he's not joking when he says a lot. We have local authors come in and provide information about how they wrote their books. We have guest professors, current and former professors come in. We have various classes that you can come to, four different discussion groups that are going on now. You can come in and learn a language. Three different language classes are going on now. There are book, book and poetry classes that are going, going on now. You can even come in and play games. Scrabble, backgammon, bridge. You can go on trips, day trips. You can go arts and crafts classes. Don't forget exercise. Tai Chi, yoga, dance exercise. There's just a whole array of things that we do to keep us active, interested, and do it with a, in a friendly environment. Hamilton House is a 55 and up community, but Frank had a special surprise in store for me. Well, Megan, it has been an absolute pleasure having you and your Roadshow team here today. We're honored to have you here, and we would like to make you an honorary oh member gosh, of Hamilton so House. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Thank you. Thank you so very I, much. I don't need to be 55 and up. <laughs> no, ma'am. Special, <laughs> <honorary, laughs> okay. special honorary member. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. There you I'll go. have to check out some classes. What one should I check out first? Uh, well, you can check out the language classes or the paint classes this afternoon if you like. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. Yes, oh, thank I really you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thank you. <laughs> While there are many fun things to do, it's the warm and welcoming presence that make Hamilton House the Hamilton House. Before I became president, I asked a member what's special about Hamilton House. And she said, unity and spirit. And that's what I found around here, a unity around the mission and the values and the spirit we have here of continuously learning and developing and enjoying the time and doing that with new friends and the friends that we've met here. Unity and spirit, it's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun and thank you to Frank and Thea for welcoming us with such open arms. In order to maintain a house that is nearly 130 years old, donations are necessary. You can join Hamilton House and or donate over at roadshow.com. Ashley is now an honorary member as well, so you never know, you may just see one of us there. For the Roadshow, I'm Megan Wilgus.